If you want to live the lean lifestyle, do you have to get sauces out of your diet? Well, we're going to find out next when we get saucy here on Food Wars. Stay tuned. episode of Food Wars, we are getting saucy. That's right. We're going to talk about the right types of sauces that you can have in your diet and which ones you need to get out of your diet. So what you see right here, I have six different sauces. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Which one should be in your cabinet? Which one should be in the garbage? Let's go through. First one, we're looking at vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar. You can have balsamic vinegar. You can have any type of vinegar you want. This one gets the thumbs up. I know you may say, vinegar, that's not really a sauce, it doesn't really taste good. It does taste good. You add this to your chicken, to your meat, to anything, it's gonna add flavor that is really good without the sugar, without the fattening stuff. Add this one to your diet. Number two, ketchup. What do you guys think? It's basically sugar in the red color. You don't want to have ketchup in your diet. There are some forms of ketchup that have lower sugar in them, but just make sure you look at the ingredients and make sure it's all ingredients that you can pronounce. This guy right here, second ingredient is liquid sugar. That's a no-go here on Lidley TV. Try to get ketchup out of your diet if it has sugar in it. Number three, one of probably many of your favorites, barbecue sauce. This is a fender number probably five on the list of foods to get out of your diet because barbecue sauce typically is loaded with sugar. First ingredient, glucose, fructose, sugar. That's the bad stuff. We don't want that in your diet. And then modified cornstarch and a few other things. Barbecue sauce, out. All right, I'm gonna skip this guy right now. I'm gonna get back to him. Then we have mustard. Mustard's on my good list. I add mustard to a lot of my sauces that I use for chicken, for pork chops, for everything else. You can make incredible flavor using just mustard and there's no sugar in mustard. Thumbs up to mustard. And then, one of my faves, salsa. Be careful with the salsa that you're buying though. Salsa can have sugar in it. Make sure you check out the ingredients, make sure it's all natural ingredients and you're good to go. I use salsa on so many different things and I never get tired of the flavor that it gives. You can also make your own homemade salsa, which is very good as well. So let's get back to this guy right here in the middle. I feature this guy right here. This is, I can never pronounce this right, Sharika Hot Chili Sauce. I feature this guy a lot in my Twitter posts or on my Instagram feed because I cook with them all the time. I admit it's not the best natural type of sauce, but it's very low in calories. It's only five calories per teaspoon. Um, there is one gram of sugar, but come on, one gram, come on. And there does contain sulfites as well, which I try to stay away from, but this is kind of one of the things that I go to to really add flavor, to add spice, to add a little bit of hotness to my food. This guy, I'm gonna let him pass. He's staying in the cabinet. So there you have it. There are six of your typical sauces that people add to their food. Out is ketchup. Out is barbecue sauce. In is vinegar. In is mustard. In is salsa. And then, I can't hate on this guy. I love this guy. Chili sauce is in as well. But guys, don't forget, spices. Click here to see my food wars on healthy spices that you can add into your diet. So many good natural spices that you can add real flavor with no calories, no sugar, no sulfites, only the good stuff. Check out that video right there. If you like this video, you guys know what to do. Click that like button below. Share and subscribe to these videos if you haven't already. And of course, leave a comment below on other food wars episodes you want to see. Somebody mentioned in a comment yesterday they wanted to see organic cheese versus Regular cheese. I haven't forgot about you. That's on the list. We're going to get to that. Until next time, I'm Brad Gothrow. You're watching Living TV, and we will see you again tomorrow. It's Tabata time. Four minutes, all I need of your time to kick your butt. You can guarantee that's going to happen. See you later.